Well, good morning. This morning our scripture is found in John chapter 20, beginning in verse 1, and it goes like this. The first day of the week cometh Mary Magdalene early, when it was yet dark, and to the sepulcher, and seeth the stone taken away from the sepulcher. Then she runneth and come to Simon Peter and to the other disciples whom Jesus loved, and saith unto them, they have taken away the Lord out of the sepulchre, and we know not where they have laid him. Peter, therefore, went forth, and that other disciple, and came to the sepulchre. So they ran both together, and the other disciple did outrun Peter, and came first to the sepulchre. And he, stooping down, and looking in, saw the linen cloth lying, yet went he not in. Then come a Simon Peter following him and went in to the sepulcher and seeth the linen cloth lie and the napkin that was about his head not lying with the linen cloth but wrapped together in a place by itself. Then went in also that other disciple which came first to see the sepulcher and he saw and believed. I'll tell you what, we are so blessed that he arose out of that grave. And an old song comes to mind. He lives, he lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and he talks with me along life's narrow way. He lives, he lives. Salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Hey, man, he lives right there in my heart. Something I'd like to point out today is the napkin uh, that was about his head, not lying with the other linen cloths, which was all just bunched up and thrown over, but the napkin that, uh, that was over his face was set apart and folded. And... You go to a fine restaurant, folks, and uh, if you uh, uh, get need to go to the restroom while you're eating, and many times we all have to do that sometimes, uh, if you uh, just wad your cloth up and throw it there on the table by your plate, the waiter will come by and take your plate away. He sure will. So beware of that. But, if you fold the napkin and lay it beside the plate, he knows you're coming back. And you know, that is exciting to me. The Lord left us a sign, left the disciples a sign, that he's going to come back. And he is going to come back. I guarantee you, the Bible says he's going to split them eastern skies and he's coming back for his children. The dead in Christ shall rise, and then the rest of us will be taken up with him. And i tell you what, he can't get here soon enough for me. No sirree, I'm looking for that Lord to come back, and I'm so glad that he died on that cross for the remission of sin. Said all we have to do is call on his name, believe in him, and ask him to be our Lord and Savior. He'll forgive us of all of our sins if we ask him. And we'll be one of his children. So when he comes back, he's taken back his own. So be sure and attend the resurrection service tomorrow at your church. Yes. And be joyful about it because, you know, this is something to really be excited about. Jesus died for us, and he's a coming back, and he left us a sign to believe that. Well, I hope and pray this encourages you. Yeah, he's coming back for his children. Don't give up. I don't care what's going on in this old world. No, don't worry about it. If you're a child of God, we got her made. Just keep on being faithful to him, and uh, may God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you. He died on the cross for us. 
and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.